Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to connect to your IP cameras. This is for an order that was pre-configured and it's using our free IP camera client. With uh, configured systems we will provide you a document that actually will have some uh, wireless configurations in there and such. So in this one we have provided you a text document that contains the IP addresses and username passwords for the access points and also the username password for the cameras themselves and their IP addresses and such. In this portion the relevant uh, thing that we'll need is the IP address for the camera. There's seven here, number three to nine, and they were synced to specific access points. Uh, the objective of this video is to show you how to pull up your IP cameras once you've turned on your cameras and your access points. Um, you double click on the software called IP Cam Client. We'll only be using this software in this demonstration. This was actually on a CD that was provided with an order. And we just follow the on screen instructions to install the software. It takes a few minutes. Now, once the software is installed, you'll see the icons appear on your desktop automatically. We double click. Now, the username and password is admin and admin, all lowercase. Now you'll see there are no cameras added. We're going to add them manually. We're going to go here and click on this gear with a plus sign. And we're going to select MJPEG, and in this case these are MJPEG cameras. We'll enter in the IP addresses according to the text document you received. So for the first camera is 192.168.1.123. We'll name it Cam1 in this case. And then put in the username and password. These cameras are static cameras, they do not support PTZ or audio. We will select the resolution 320 by 240 because of having that many cameras, we want to lower the resolution and make sure that there is even bandwidth going. Alarm, cruise, record, and additional title. We're gonna additional info. We're gonna leave alone. Now press OK. This will actually let you connect to the first camera. We're gonna disconnect it so that we can keep on adding more. We're gonna put in camera two, the second IP address. Username is admin and the password is as I still have it sta saved in my clipboard, so I'm just pasting it. Uncheck PTZ and audio. Press OK. I'm just doing Control V to paste, by the way, in case you're wondering. So right now I have three cameras connected. If I click on right click on each camera and press connect, I'm able to actually connect to them. Let me disconnect again. I'm going to proceed to enter the remaining cameras. So I entered all these IP addresses, 123, 124, 125, 126, 7, 8, and 9. And I'm putting in 
the last one here. Now, once uh, if you have a system that's been pre-configured, you don't really need to do anything else besides this powering on the cameras and the access points and connecting your computer to the, uh, the either the hub or switch or the router we provided. So in this case, now we have all of our cameras connected. We're going to go one by one and connect them. I'm right clicking and then pressing the connect button. And you'll see that all of them have been actually turned on now. So uh, we just have them pointed in different directions spaced across our warehouse to make sure that they are actually giving good streams of video. And that's pretty much it. And you can actually enlarge the screen. You can double click on a video to zoom in or zoom out. These are CMOS cameras, so they are uh, a bit, they're only 320 by 240 resolution. You can also lock the screen if you want to, so no one else can change the view if you're using this for security purposes. They won't be able to close it unless you enter the username and password. So you can unlock. Again, username is admin and admin. These controls do not work unless you have a PTZ camera connected. Uh, these models are again our fixed MJPEG cameras. And if you go, want to go into other further settings, you can go in here and you know, depending on which camera you have selected, the white will tell you which camera is selected. And you can go into this device settings and change any parameters you need. But uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, this covers you how to basically pull up your cameras that have been pre-configured and view using the IPCAM client software. Thanks for watching this video.